oppression is now nearly done. We'll drive out the empire from this land that we uh, own. What is Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Really? Is that so? I was one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. Me. Give you some you ideas. Uh, no, you're fine. I'm just, uh... I still can't believe Isabella's gone. Uh. She was such a helpful young lass. I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. <laughs> Interesting. What kind of writing do you do? I write drama, friend. The legends and history of Skyrim made to excite and inspire. Oh. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon, for weeks now. Roads are a mess. Yes, no kidding. Uh, Khajiit could deliver the book. Uh, that's a shame, yes? Indeed it is. Uh, Khajiit could Maybe deliver the book. Yourself in the pages of a good book. But uh, we are very busy right now. Perhaps we can find him again if we're headed in that direction. Okay, no viola in here. So let us go figure out. Wait. Hold on a moment. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Ah, uh, here's the question. Some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Ah. Uh, hmm. All right, never mind. Enjoy your stay, Let's and don't break nothing. <laughs> I'll try. I was going to ask her about uh, any rumors, but it appears she's not much of a gossip. All right, who's this? Oh, horses, all day long. Do you have any you idea, have any idea how, how, how dull horses are? How hard horses are? Yes, that is exactly what I meant to say. Okay, right. We need to go talk to the steward, yes? Oh. That is a big castle, is it not? Is it a keep? Is it a castle? This one does not know. What, do I look like an architect to you? Alright. Hold on. It might be a good idea to change into something less... Um, Thieves Guildy, no? That could be a bad idea. There we go. Fine clothes for dealing with Yarl people. And these, in case I need to punch somebody. Yes? <laughs> they are better protection for my fists than... Uh, than the Thieves Guild gauntlets. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Norn. He'll come around. <laughs> Don't be Whoa. So sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from okay, Solitude. Okay, here we go. You the just uh, putting a great stand by. Deal of yes. Pressure on White Run. And what would you have mm, me do? Actually, if he's not yes, with my us, friend. He's just hang us. out right if here for a second. Trouble, come get me. Oh, I you will. Trust that. me. You will know. <laughs> How long are you going to wait? Good grief. You think I need to send Borgroth a stronger message? I have never heard if two men with deeper voices in my life. A sword through his gullet. Yee. Okay. If you have any news of the Western Hordes, take it to Ulfric immediately. Uh, actually, Khajiit is here about the murders going on. She would like to help. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. <laughs> My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Yes, that is exactly what I needed to hear. And I will let them carry on with their uh, mumbling. Okay. Are you, you lead, I follow. Many, I fear. Good, Still let's go. Convincing. I feel like it might be... <laughs> poor idea to uh, be discussing their war strategies so openly. Who knows? Uh, right. We need to go... Sniff around a few places, yes? So I'm not quite sure where to start, but, you know, 
Hello. If you've got some time, stop by my house of curiosities. I promise you'll see wonders. Is that so? Yeah. They say the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime, no? Well, he's been here quite a bit. If it's better board you're after, Candlehurst Hall's got both. Uh, your leave has granted Zaytest permission to aid in the investigation. I am Zaytest, if that was not clear. Just so you know. So what do you need me to do first? All right, then. I noticed a trail of blood leading away from here. Helgard's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Okay. All right. I will go talk to her then. This one does not see any blood anywhere, but... That's okay. Okay. Ew. It smells disgusting in here. <laughs> Kaji does not like barrows of any kind. But, whatever. She deals with them, no? Where is uh, this Elgar? It is kind of hard to pick out her smell with all of the dead smells in this place. Oh, there you are. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. You anyway. Have you noticed anything strange about the body, perhaps? Well, she's dead. But I guess that's not unusual, at least not for somebody in here. I mean, someone who's not me, that is. Sorry. Was only joking with you. Uh, okay. Uh, no need to apologize, but have you found anything? Not really. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. Eh? They look like they were made with... Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. Oh. I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. Hmm. Say, test must I ask, did you have anything to do with this? Just trying to be thorough, you understand. I'm too busy tending to the dead to spend my time making more of them. And Fair I point. And I very well tell you about the cuts if I had made them, now would I? Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave. This one admires your guts. Being able to eat in here. Anyway. This one likes her. <laughs> ah, she reminds a test of her own mother. Fasiri was also fond of dead things. Okay. Except that, um, Fasiri was also one who made more of them. I'm a what do you need? Uh, Until next time. I spoke to the... Alright. This one does not see any... Blood? Um... But perhaps... She can smell it, no? Okay. Uh, right. In a go. Do you see any blood? Because this one does not see any blood. And this whole city kind of smells like... Okay. That was... That was completely normal. <laughs> ah. Khajiit has never seen... He must be a very strong Nord. Or... A very enterprising one, if he's carrying around his split firewood on the back of his axe. Hi there. Oh. Okay. <sighs> time, to, time to go speak to the, uh... The... Oh, won't give us a straight answer. That guy. He's a true Nord. Are they still He'll discussing that? Okay. Any, so sure I'll go the investigation. Uh, the test is working on it, but uh, can you? Uh, do you have anything that you could tell Zaytest about Windhelm? All that's at more. But that just grows the beard thicker. Hmm. Knows that. Lot of history in these walls. We're trying to make some more. 
It's a lucky time to be alive. Mm, that's not quite what Khajiit was after, but Travel safely. It's good to know. Out there. Thick beards the in here. Through his what? Taking his city and leaving him. Ah, oh, okay. Well, that was useless. Time to go. Figure something else out. All right. Where can Khajiit look next? <clears throat> hmm. Oh, hey. Hi, lady. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Uh... Zetas might well do that. What did you... Uh, what do you have? Not much, but I hope you like them. I imagine it is quite hard to get your hands on... F whoops. Sorry? Not much, but I hope you like them. <laughs> Kashi gets distracted sometimes. I imagine it's quite hard to... Ooh, to grow flowers in... Uh, in Windhelm? Ah, uh, I will just take all of them, no? Uh, where are your parents, by the way? Stop by again. Never mind. <laughs> oh, what is this? Hey, Inigo. What do you want to bet that leads somewhere interesting? And possibly illegal. Yes. Alright. Oh, hey. Incidentally, this is exactly what I was I looking trust for. You're not planning any trouble. What can I do for your friend? Uh, you know. Welcome to the House of Curiosities. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Right. Uh, uh, how did you manage to assemble this collection, by the way? My sister and I inherited a modest sum of money. We decided to travel and seek out whatever adventures we could find. As we journeyed across Tamriel, we encountered tales of exotic and wondrous artifacts. We decided to collect as many as we could. My sister passed away some years ago, so I settled down here and opened the House of Curiosities. I think she would be happy to know that our collection has brought smiles to faces both young and old. Uh, sure. A most pleasant chat. Until the next. Um... 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 Feast your eyes on my strange and wondrous collection of curiosity. Oh, I'm feasting my eyes, all right. Yes, my friend. Do me a favor and I block the door. I <laughs> I don't care much for the war one way or the other. You mentioned a tour, Indeed yes. Indeed, I did. For a few septims, I'll tell you about some of the most interesting curiosities in my collection. Oh, Kashyyyk has a bad feeling about this, but... Splendid! If you'll just follow me, I'll tell you tales and show you wonders such as you've never seen. Oh, boy. Okay. Kashyyyk is following you. <laughs> These tools With were her daggers ready. outside Windhelm. They belong to the ancient <sighs> Nords who dwelt in Skyrim before the days of the First Empire. Most scholars believe that the Nords of old used these implements to prepare their dead for burial. What macabre mysteries would these tools reveal if they could but speak? Well, that is a great question. <laughs> uh. Here is the Book of Fate, discovered in a secret room in the oh. Arcane University. The writing in the book describes the destiny of its reader, so the words change from one person to the next. Some see only blank pages, and nobody knows why. Huh. Perhaps some of us are born with no destiny. Or maybe the blank pages signify an imminent death. Okay, Khajiit must satisfy. Okay. I was about to say Khajiit must satisfy her curiosity. That is okay. Ah, now here's an item out of legend. This is Iskramor's soup spoon. What? Now, I know what you're thinking. Hmm. This is no spoon, it's a fork. Yep. Nobody can eat soup with a fork. Well, my friend, you did not know Iskramor. <laughs> oh, 
Nord. Don't let this innocent looking fruit fool you, for this is the dancer's pipe. Legend holds that the dancer's that is a lot of skulls. Wars, toppled empires, and changed the very course of history. Ah. Uh, no, no. Let me just do something so, real quick. But the stories say that men who hear its music are compelled to dance uncontrollably, no matter the peril. To activate this strange power, one must only speak the magic words, which are... <laughs> oh my, I very nearly got us both into a nasty predicament, didn't I? Hmm. Oh, I'm really glad I have and backup. that, the tour is over. I thank you for your patronage, and I hope to see you again soon. Right, do you mind if I take a look around the, the rest of the museum? Feast your eyes okay, on this must be his room. Wondrous collection of curiosities. Indeed. I'm just gonna have a poke around upstairs, no? I'm sure there are fascinating things up here. Well, it's a chest. Okay. For a few septims, I'll give you a brief. What is on your mind? Okay, time yes. to go. Let us go. Okay, let's go. Uh, thank you, Mr. Calixto. <laughs> Okay, that was... So he has one of those little slicey thingies. The ancient Nordic ones. Ancient Nordic slicey thingy. Which means... Which means... I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now He I'm is fine. now, uh... <laughs> he is now suspect number one in Zaytest's book. Okay. We need to sniff yeah, this out. What? Okay. We should probably either get these nightshades out of the way or not pick them so that they don't release the uh, stinky dead flower smell. 